Hello everybody, it's Conti here with another video. How to use the crop tool in the cut window in DaVinci Resolve 16.2. Left click once on the cut tab in your DaVinci Resolve interface to open up this window. Inside cut, hold control and press I on your keyboard to insert a media file that you wish to use in this project. Use command instead of control if you are a Mac user. Left click on change if this window appears after you have selected the media file that you have inserted. Inside the media pool underneath your master bin header, ensure that the thumbnail for the media file which you have inserted into your project is selected by left clicking once. A red outline should appear around this file now. Go to left click once on the append button underneath the media pool to move this media file to your project timeline. Left click once and a blue media file edit should appear on your cut timeline. Ensure that the media edit is selected by left clicking once so that a red outline appears around this. Go to left click once on tools just below the video preview towards the top of your screen. The crop tool is the second tool to the left underneath the video preview. Left click on this once to select this option. Always ensure that the timeline icon is selected just above the video preview so that you can see the crop options below. Underneath the crop tool we have five values. The first four, all with zero, determine the amount of cropping that has been applied to each side of our image or video file. Such as the crop left option here which enables us to trim the video clip from the left side only. If we go to increase the value in the first box to the left, crop left, from 0 to 20, for example, we can do this by left clicking in the box with the zeros, holding our mouse button down and dragging the cursor to the right, letting go of the left mouse button once we are satisfied with the crop effect. Note that the higher the number from 0, the further inwards the cropping effect will be applied to our picture or video file. The maximum cropping value that we can apply to any side in our video or image file is 100. In this example here with crop left where we have applied the value 100, the entire video file of the palm trees has been cropped from the left to the far right side, hence why no visual content is shown. Note how we can also manually change the cropping effect applied to this video file here by left clicking holding the mouse button down on the circle on the white frame here and dragging this to the opposite side to reduce the crop left effect here for example. Note how any side in our cropping frame can be manipulated manually without affecting any of the others. The final box to the right contains a value which refers to softness. This applies a fade effect to the cropped edges of your video or image file. Again, like with the four sides of our cropping frame, the maximum value that can be applied here is 100. Note that the higher the softness value is, the more of the video or image file is revealed. And note how a transparent gradient appears between the video clip of the palm tree here and the black shade used with the cropping effect. Like with the four sides, the softness can be manipulated by left clicking inside the value box, holding the mouse button down and dragging the mouse cursor sideways, to the right to increase the softness value or to the left to decrease the softness value. Should you wish to reset the values inside any of the five boxes here for crop, simply drag your mouse cursor to the left of the value and you should see a circular arrow icon appear to the left of the number. Left click on this once and the original value of 0 is restored. Should you wish to reset all values, left click on the circular arrow icon to the right. Reset all. 
to undo any cropping effect that you have applied to your image or video file. The red circular button which appears in the bottom left corner of your video preview window ensures that a crop effect is applied to this edit for your final video once you render the project that you are making in DaVinci Resolve. Should you wish for this crop effect to be not applied to your final video, simply left click on this button so that it turns grey and no cropping settings are applied to your edit on the timeline here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoy the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.